Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and whatever else is watching, my name is Nick and we are once more play playing Dragon Quest Builders for the Nintendo Switch. Previously we've, well, I think we've finally healed up Casey by getting an antidote, the antidote herb. Or the heart of darkness and then we went around town here a little bit and doing one or oh, the beginning of one of the chapter challenges today we have start off with a well battle or go to sleep that's the danger of being next to a bed into in a room Come over here. I want to talk to you. An evil presence in the air. Ooh. Okay. Well, I don't know. Maybe we start building a town again that they don't like. Healing patience and well, you can start by not calling me a lamb all the time. I am afraid of my hair that it gets shaven off at one point, or I be led to the uh, to a slaughterhouse so that you can have lamb chops. So, please stop calling me a lamb. Oh, she watches over us. That's nothing uh, new. Okay, if we turn around quickly enough, then we can see actually the Hades Condor coming here. Taking, actually, well, Bringing his minions to attack us. He escorted them. The Hades Condor himself uh, pretty much uh, could have act Well, with one fell swoop pretty much killed uh, or blown us off the map himself. But instead he decided to leave. Yeah... It's so weird, but it does give again a difference between what was the first chapter and this chapter. They don't hide the enemy that we're uh, going up against at the end of this chapter. And we now have a new teleportarium and Gerontius also has a mission for us. Which will take a while before we actually are going to do that. Then, why are the two of you slowly walking here? Um, what's wrong with you guys? You don't look so hot. Hi, Keen. Oh. Oh, you came from Ilya's place. How is he? Is he still alive? How is his uh, research, research co coming along? Oh. Why wouldn't you want to die over there? Okay, I'm worried now. And you? You don't look so hot either. Yeah, we're rebuilding Remolder again, so uh, yeah. Hello, Edsel. Nice to meet you, Ed. Wait, why? Why goodbye? Oh no! Let's get these guys to uh, a sick bed. Well, help. Stay out of the way. I need them put in a sick bed. 
Pronto. You need an antidotal herb. I can deliver that to you if no one is in the way. You need basic water. Well, we have water over there, but no way to scoop it up yet. E. I just got worried. Okay, but yeah. But we have a teleportal at this moment and you know what that means. I can build myself a new room. Uh, yeah, this big. Mm. Let's see, do I have a door in here somewhere? Yes, I have a door. And I do want a bonfire as a uh, as a light source, not something else. And let's see, put the bonfire over here. I don't need you. And that's our teleportal. Everyone is gonna be happy about that as I am going to close them in and all these guys have quests now. Oh boy. But there's only one quest we are going to take on at this moment and that quest is going to bed. I know it's early in the day but hey we got us ourselves a new teleportal put down and you know what that means we've got a cutscene to watch Ooh. this cutscene is awesome the serenity that comes from here, the peace, even though it is actually the resting place of the ancient hero Erdrich. You would say, okay, it's a grave, creepy, but the serenity and everything that goes on here, it is so beautiful. And I played Dragon Quest Builders before I played Dragon Quest 1. So, when I saw this cutscene, I thought, I want to reach this place in, the, uh, in Dragon Quest 1. And actually this place, you can pretty much reach very early on. Pretty much after you set out of out of uh, Tentagel, you can reach this place already. You probably will have to re grind some levels before you can en actually enter uh, this. But this is not a end game area. This is actually an early game area. And when I reached this area, it was also something... I know it was a NES game, but it kind of lacked, lacked the oomph as this scene just now made. And that's... well, okay, it was a NES game. It was the very first Dragon Quest RPG, so I'm not... Uh, faulting it for that but still having seen this cutscene before I saw what it was in Dragon Quest 1 yeah you can pretty much guess that it is kind of underwhelming okay our very first uh, quest that we're gonna take on is from L Yes, but we haven't found any more 
I've gone over this island, so we won't be... Oh, in the prickly wild. Prickly wilds, you... Yeah, we haven't gone over there. There are two people there that we need to save. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay. Okay, a new quest marker appeared. We have to find two patients. But also, this is finally a new area! Oh, hey, who are you? Huh? Irvin, I'm the builder. Okay. Eee! Really? Um, with all that smoke and that evil aura coming off you, do I need to wear a mouth mask? Really? Do I need to wear that? I hope so not. That... Oh, we've got it! Oh, I better pick this. Ooh, pumice piece. I know how to make throwing rocks. Not that it is of any cons anything of wood. But we've got wood! We have wood, we have wood. And I also need a little bit more. More pumice pieces for the throwing rocks. Metal slime! You're gonna have it. Come here, come here. Stay here, you will you? Hey! Metal slime. Don't you run away. No. No! Do I ha don't I have my colossal coffer just when I have the metal slime? Uh, here, you lose that for a bit, then I can... I should have cleaned up, didn't I? Yeah, I should have cleaned up. For, for a chapter that's all about carpentry. All about woodwork. You really get wood very late in the chapter and... I need fur, don't I? I am also going to need fur. Oh boy! For fur, I would need to go up here. And one more tree and then I should have at least enough lumber and, a lum and seedlings for... Oh, what was that? I don't know. But let's see. Oh, there we have brownies. Hello brownies. Ouch. Yes! No! Let's discard the branch. At least I want the fur. Oh yeah. Let a sec. I can get later. But I wanted the fur so that I can get... <sighs> mm. 
Yeah, I can make my colossal coffer now. And that's what's mostly important around here. Okay, let's get back to make that coffer. Oh yeah, I have to take you with me as well. <laughs> Almost forgot! Almost left you behind. <laughs> he is do he is nice though to stay r to be right at the teleportal uh, for me to get him and oh yeah I forgot that as well. I need n more bats in my sick room. Let's start out by making some wood. As many as possible. Ooh, I can make a sewing station now. And wood wall. Wooden floor. And I am going to put some things in here. Yeah, can't do that. Also, let's put these seedlings out. Let's clean up my inventory. They are gonna deliver the rest of my wood for this chapter. Okay, Colossal Co. <laughs> no! I need more fur. I also need a pot. Oh, bad. Let's start by making a bed. Okay, well, when we put in a new bed, we turn this into an infirmary, like an inn. Putting four beds in there makes it better. And because I had a different, oh, a different uh, recording before, that means that my room recipe is also <sighs> that's the problem when things go wrong or well, not to your liking well an infirmary a sizable sanitarium for salvation it pretty much is a sick room except that you add two beds and it can and the only use it has is to use well, to treat patients. What would we get if, well, with an inn, if you put, had four beds and made it six, then it would get better. Not, with, not so with an infirmary. With an infirmary, it's just, oh, fried fox tool. Maybe I have that already. Yeah, I have fried fox too. I could give you that. Okay, and why? I don't know. You need some Z's. Well, I am hungry. I could use some additional fox tools to fill out my hunger meter and then go to bed again. Okay, so next up, oh yeah, I'll be back with some fur. I'm, I'm soon back with some fur.
Okay, I got me some fur and I also got some coal, which I will be needing for some, uh, how do I say it? Um, for some recipes with cooking. I don't have a furnace, so I won't be uh, forging any iron. Or anything, but oh great, this feels so good. It feels like such a heavy burden is lifted off of my chest now. Oh man, this is something I've been waiting for for this entire chapter. Oh. So, this is fixed. And that means we still have one little patient to find. But at least now we can grab everything that I come across. Actually, Actually, there's something else that I want to do for as well. Um, I had pumice. And I could make throwing stones from that. Throwing stones are also the weapons that L and jo Drontius use when in battle. It is actually a long distance weapon. It is a consumable item that you have on your item bar. But it is... You can do some... Where? Oh, there you are. Hey, come back here. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Oh, why can't I move faster? He's gone. Oh well. Too bad. Okay. Throwing weapons. When you can aim them, it's good. But they also have a very right margin of error. The closer you are, the better. But it makes them also very unreliable. Seriously, stop it. As you can see, it's very hard to aim them. So that's why I actually won't be using throwing weapons at all. Oh yeah, those guys give paralyzer stingers and they hurt. So you might want, want to be there when they are coming charging at you. That these flowers may look like Daffo daisies. They are orange as well, but as a matter of fact, they are tingleweed. Tingleweed causes paralysis. Don't touch them. No, seriously, don't touch them. We have here a nice little room. This is kind of a halfway house here and the quest marker leads us over there but I wanted to take a look at this because we have a book here which I will be reading after I have uh, slept. It is getting late. Okay, let's read this. The book is titled A Passage to Tentagel, Volume 2. 
This is our next entry in this passage, this overarching story that connects throughout the chapters. We met Sir Reginald Augustus Grains of the Cantlin Brigade of Guards back in Cantlin, where we saw a sign and his first book. This is now his second book in Romolda. Although I would have actually thought it would have been a later book. Of course I would like to read it. I can scarce believe this befouled land is truly Remoldar. Four times the great city sat atop a green and pleasant island. Actually it was a uh, peninsula, not an island. All girt about by a lake of bright blue water. Now I find naught but a mire of fetid peat littered with the corpses of dead and rotting trees, and floating on a foul and pestilent swamp. The few people able to stomach life here seem to be fa falling to a mysterious disease that doth spread throughout the land. These meager few survivors struggle valiantly against the insidious sickness. However, I fear that without the power to create a cure, the efforts are all but in vain. So resigning, there are these people to their fates. They have forgotten that man ever had the power to battle sickness and disease. Though I know full well the, the tragic cure, curse that befell us, I had never dreamt it would I would witness so miserable a sight. Each time I lay eyes upon the wretched faces of Rimolda, I am reminded anew of the frightful power of the Dragon Lord's wrath. What I would give to help these suffering souls in some small way. But I have my own mission. And I must see it through, no matter the cost. Much though it paineth me, I turn my back on with Moldar and continue my journey north into Kohl. Sir Reginald Augustus Grains, Cantlin Brigade of Guards. This is funny, because in Dragon Quest 1 there is no boat travel. And the sea actually separates Cantlin from Rimoldar. You have to travel by water if you want to have the direct route. When I go into Tentagel, or uh, when I go from Cantlin towards Rimoldar, I have to go past a close area. You stay away. I am talking. Ooh. Prickly prison for horrible human trespassers. Don't let them out. Okay. But to continue. Oh. I became paralyzed. Why? Because I was standing in the middle of Tingleweed. Yeah. Uh, that was what I was trying to look at. Uh, equipment. Let's equip this hammer. And make sure that one doesn't... Okay. Let's clear this tingleweed. But to continue, if you want to go from Cantlin to Rimolda, you will have to go throughout the entire land of Alfgard. First going north from Cantlin, you take you come close by Gallenholm. You can also come close by Tentagel itself. Then you come close to Cole, and after that, 
when you pass through the underground tunnel under the waterways, you end up at Remoldar. Remoldar is a separate island separated from the rest. So I think Reginald Augustus Green kind of lost his way. And he forgot a few turns. At least he got a turn around uh, though and went back to coal. Afterwards. Uh, dude, what are you doing here? Jacob! Oh, you don't look so good. Maybe I should get you out. Okay, break wall. It says, going through here. Yeah, will that be sufficient? Let's see. Yeah, going there, but going this way might be shorter. But then again, I also think I need to go upwards. So let's dig ourselves a path out of here. I also need to go up. Okay, you are coming down. That's not such a hot thing to see. Let's get you back to uh, Rumolda, shall we? And let's see about that tingly situation that you're dealing with. This is actually really funny uh, about these. Uh... Oh, um, which way is the best way? Ouch! Don't drop too far because I've got a ways to go. Oh no! You stay out of my way, please. Do we have a metal slime? Do we have a metal slime? No, we don't have a metal slime. Oh well, too bad. Oh, I forgot to uh, check this cha treasure chest as well. Eh, not a navy globe. I know my way. Hello, I wanted to enter the portal because I can't use Chimera wings when I'm holding someone. You know, with these three, I am wondering if I need to have a face mask. So, if you don't mind, I'll put you down here. Really? Really, sardine on a stick. How the heck do I make that? I have no idea. Oh well. That's gonna be something. Also, I think I can now make some crockery. Yeah. Okay. Then I think I've done everything I wanted to do at this moment. I thank you all for watching. And next time I think we'll be picking up one of these other missions. Because those patients, they need something that I don't have. I don't know how to make tingle tablets. I don't know how to make a sardine on a stick. And seriously enough, even though I have wash tubs, I have no idea how to scoop up water. Even though I have a wash tub. Yeah, that's for next time. I thank you all for watching. Until then, bye.